So, how did I end up doing this PhD? Well, I've always been interested in, in science ever since I was a kid. And, of course, when I was much younger, I didn't know exactly what to do. So, after I did the Dutch equivalent of high school, um, I started doing a Bachelor of Applied Sciences. And this is about 10 years ago, I think, um, in the direction of biochemistry. So, after... Well, four years I finished this uh, uh, this bachelor, and I was looking for a job. So I found it very difficult to decide whether I wanted to go on and do a, 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 an academic study um, and maybe a master's afterwards, or if I wanted to well just immediately start working. So instead of both, I decided to to start working for about half a year in an outdoor store and orient on. Well, exactly what I wanted to do. So after, you know, these these six months of doing something completely different, I decided to start working at a bio com biotech company in Leiden. And I worked there on, well, adenovirus-related research, which I initially liked very much. Um, but after, let's say, one and a half to two years, I started to get, well, bored with the repetitive nature of the work I was doing. And I asked for a transfer um, uh, or to another group which worked on influenza. And initially, again, I liked this very much. But on my way home normally in the train, I was reading papers on, on flu-related research. And I figured that, you know, if I ever wanted to do anything that was described in these papers, I'd better do a, a, a master's so I could do a PhD afterwards. So... Well, that's basically what I did. I uh, did a master's in uh, direction of immunity and infection, which I liked very much. And uh, initially I did an uh, internship in Utrecht, working on uh, uh, well, co-stimulation of T-cell activation, which is not really my cup of tea. Um, and my second internship for this uh, for this master's I did at the virology department where I'm still doing my uh, um, PhD now. So I started with this, and I really liked the uh, the, the freedom I got doing this uh, this internship as compared to what I used to do before in this uh, this biotech company. So whereas in the biotech company, um, as a as a technician, other people told me what I should be doing. And of course, I had you know, a certain freedom to fill in my um, fill in my day and, and think of experiments. Uh, during my internship at uh, Erasmus Medical Center, um, things were really different. So we had an aim, and of course I discussed this with the professors and with my colleagues, but I was completely free to do exactly uh, what I thought was best. And then, you know, if I did something stupid or if, if things went wrong, I discussed with my professor and then, you know, things would work afterwards.